the most important principles of growing up in the martial arts was being able to see the opportunity that's in front of you and then acting right away. Uh, the, the ordinary person, a person who doesn't train in martial arts, they see an opportunity and then they think about it for a very long time. And then they say, okay, you know, I'll do it next week or one day I would like to do that. And th this doesn't work in the martial arts because let's say uh, you're fighting and there's one moment in time where the person gives you an opening, right? You can see their jaw and you're going to hit their jaw. And that moment is right then and right now. <laughs> seize the opportunity. You have to go, right? You can't they go, oh, now in, in two minutes I'll hit him in the jaw. It's too late. It could be just one moment where, where, where he, his mind lapsed in his discipline and he, his hand dropped or he maybe lost focus for a second. At the higher level of fighting, what happens is you got two people that are very skilled and either person could beat the other person at the world championship level. And it comes to a matter of who makes the least mistakes in that day and the other person who can capitalize on your point of principles in the martial arts. Also, if you know me as a pickup and seduction artist, it's the same thing. Uh, one of the questions people ask a lot of times in, in pickup is like, oh, how, when do you kiss the girl? When the moment is there. Very simple. And if you miss that moment, if there's any ladies watching right now, and a lot of ladies watch, um, you know what I mean. If the moment is missed, it doesn't mean that the next moment, you know, a minute later, the kiss is still available, right? If, it, if it's missed, it's missed. The, the opportunity is there and you take the opportunity. kids here or we teach ladies how to defend themselves or even men how to defend their families or do better at their jobs because that's what IMC is. IMC is, is a state of mind, you know, you can find martial arts anywhere. But these monk life videos explain to you how I built the place. These are the these are the foundational values of a monk, a monk, a monk, a monk, a dude who dedicated his life to be a monk. And the opportunity is there, it's in front of you and you move. Now, there's one thing missing, because this may be something you've heard before, but the one thing missing is this. In order for you to actually be able to get, uh, uh, to actually be able to um, capitalize on the opportunity, watch this, before the opportunity arrives, you have to have done your homework. You have to have done your preparation. So it's not that the guy's hand dropped, and you took the opportunity. It's that you have hit the pads so many times. You've sparred so many times that when it happens, you've done your work and the, your, 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 your body acts almost by itself, as Bruce Lee would say. I do not hit and it's all by itself. And this is only accomplished by a tremendous, a tremendous level of practice and dedication. And that is a big deal in the martial arts, you see? It's one of the things that I've known my entire life is that no matter how my opponent would act or, you know, let's talk about business again or relationships. One thing is they're never going to outwork me and they're never going to outdiscipline me. Discipline is crucial in martial arts when it's done right. <laughs>
not the hours that you're in class that makes you a black belt. It's the hours outside of class that makes you a black belt. If you just come to class and you just train every day, I guarantee you, you're not going to get a black belt. Not under me, you won't. I, I promise you, on my life. There's no way. It's the hours when nobody's training that you keep training. It's the hours when no one's watching that you're stretching or watching your diet or doing more push-ups or whatever the hell it is that you do. And this is a crucial piece of martial arts. Ask yourself how successful you want to be and then ask yourself this. Today, how many opportunities have you had? So a, uh, an exercise that I do is if I think about it and, and it's a survival thought, I act. So for example, today, when I think about what happened, I thought about, you know, I'm making some new signs for my academy. And the moment I thought about it, I immediately called. I immediately, the thought came, I grabbed, I called, and moved forward to the next one. Or uh, coming to record the Monk Life video. The moment I thought about it, I sent a text to my brother. I said, you're going to be there in three and you're here. And it's like everything, the opportunity is there, you act. And then you'll see how much sharper you're going to be in life. And again, in fighting, it's the same thing. Let's say you talk about jujitsu. Right? The guy's balance is off for one second. His arm is extended for one second. His neck is exposed for one, one moment, not even a second. Boom, but you capitalize on it because you were prepared for your opportunity because that's what you've been preparing for, to win, to succeed. And that is the martial arts. And it's a very key principle. I think you can use this to get ahead in anything, whether you're a lawyer, a doctor, anything in life, okay? You teach your children this. Get them prepared for the opportunities in life. And when the opportunity comes, take it because it may not show up again.